everybody, Lucas and Beth here from hey. our Liberty House, and today is one of our favorite days of spring. It's time to finally transplant our tomatoes. We planted these in our greenhouse like seven weeks ago, and we've up planted them, up potted them one time, and today is the day we're gonna get them in the garden beds up against this uh, vertical trellis here. And these are all indeterminate tomatoes, so they'll grow up and fill this whole thing in with beautiful tomatoes. If you've been following along on Instagram, you've seen our great success with our greenhouse this year. This is new to us. We don't normally have that kind yeah. of success. So check out um, our seed starting video. If you missed out on that, we'll link it below. Let's get going. Okay, let's start with this one. And this is a nice, healthy, San Marzano indeterminate pasta tomato that we're gonna plant. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim off both of these because we're gonna plant this deep. We're gonna you know, try to plant it at least this deep, but I might even have to trim some of this because we're not gonna want it sitting on the soil. So we're gonna clean those up and you always wanna plant your tomatoes deep. And the reason we're gonna do that is because tomatoes are unique and they will grow roots up their entire stem. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna increase our surface area for nutrient uptake and also water and reduce the amount we have to water and make a great tomato plant. And here's just a quick glamour shot of me digging a hole. We uh, muted the clip and saved you the trouble of not hearing me be out of shape. This deep. Oops. And this is our first year using this Plant Organics Mycorrhiza Fertilizer. And what this mycorrhiza is, is think of it as a probiotic for your soil. And it's going to really enhance our root growth and our nutrient uptake. And it's going to be great for these tomatoes that are going to sprawl roots out up the stem since we planted them deep. So this is our first year trying it and we'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, just position your tomato plant in the hole and we're gonna kind of rotate it depending on our trellis or just the direction we want it to face. And then you'll see here, nice and deep hole, we're gonna get roots up that whole stem. So then just backfill your tomato. I wanna just fill it back in. So this up. And just give it a nice press and you make a little well here. Even though we don't really top water, it'll help keep some moisture down here, push it down, or even with the rest of the space. Actually, what I'm going to do. What we're gonna do is trim up these sun leaves that are gonna be resting on the ground. We're not gonna completely take them off just to help still get some energy, but not have anything resting um, on the dirt and possibly get diseased. All right, guys, now you get to watch us super speed plant the rest of these tomatoes. And really the only next steps are to backfill all the holes and get them watered in. We're gonna give them a nice, deep, heavy soak and every couple days until they get established. And I get a lot of questions about our spacing on our tomatoes. And these are about a foot apart. And that's really okay because we're going to single leader them. We'll heavily prune these all the way to the top of the trellis before we let them bush out. So this spacing is good when you're doing this vertical trellis method. We'll keep updating you guys as the spring goes on what all of our plants look like and what our gardens look like and do a monthly tour. We really appreciate your guys' support. Like this channel and subscribe to get more content and we'll see you on the next one.